if you move into the United States as an African immigrant, there's a few things that you have to consider. In this video, I want to talk to you about three issues or three challenges that you will face when you move into the United States. All right, man, take care. So number one, it's going to be homesickness. Now, most people don't even consider this. They don't really think about how much they're going to miss home when they come to the United States. So according to the Immigration Policy Institute, 40% of immigrants reported being homesick or lonely within the first couple of years of moving to the United States. Now, that's the problem because in some cases that leads to depression and in extreme cases that leads to suicide or suicidal thoughts so that's one of the things that is an issue and there's ways to overcome that number one you've got to find your community i'll give you an example right here in boston we say boston but we really know that most ugandans live in waltham massachusetts so why would you want to live in waltham because that's where your community is if you're coming from uganda why is that important because first you'll find food uh, your local food will be there number two you'll find people you you know go to church or go to mosque or you commune with and it'll be a lot easier for you to manage all right let's head on to challenge number two So challenge number two is going to be unemployment. According to the American Immigration Council, 26% of African immigrants were either unemployed or underemployed. What does that mean? So if you come from Africa, and let's say you were a doctor in Africa, that's not going to translate here that easily, okay? So you might have to go to school, and despite of the fact that you've been practicing, whether you were a doctor, whether you are um, you are a lawyer whether you are a nurse that is not usually going to translate directly so you might find that there's going to be a couple of years where you're either back in school or you're unemployed now how do you fix that is by being prepared if you are coming into the united states you need to know that's a fact so number one be prepared number two when you come into the united states work on finding resources people that can help you get as much of that uh, education you have converted into US standards so that you can get quickly back on your career. The thing you should not do is give up on your career. You shouldn't give up on your career and just do regular jobs. If you were already educated, you might have to go and do some things again, get recertified, but that's something that you have to do. Let's head on to challenge number three. So the third and final challenge is legal issues. So a lot of people come into the US and spend many years without uh, working on their uh, status. So basically they just kind of ignore it and get used to living without status. So the USCIS recommends uh, that you find legal help. So whether you came in on a student visa, whether you came in as a visitor, it is recommended that you start considering working on your papers as soon as possible because living in the United States without papers is challenging and you better start working on it and find your answer as soon as possible.
All right, guys, so I've shared with you some of the challenges that you could face moving to the United States. Um, I've given you some numbers as far as stats, and I've shared some solutions and things that you can do um, to avoid some of these challenges. Um, that's going to be it for this video. Um, thank you so much for coming with me around Boston. If you guys uh, enjoy these videos, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Love you all.